Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? In this video, we are about to take off and go to Riverwalk, one of our favorite places to go in North Carolina. And we're gonna hang out with some friends, Ken and Michelle. This is the beginning of a chapter for us that we have talked about, guys. And it is, our house is going on the market today. So, this is another chapter for us, as I said. Do a little walk around, make sure everything is good. Yep, this is gonna be our Tennessee trip. We're gonna leave here, go to Jonesville, this tree for 28 years has grown and constantly dropped these twigs, these sticks. I mean, constantly. It's called a river birch. Beautiful tree, it has a lot of shade. But as you can see, always leave something for me to pick up. Not a bad thing. It comes with home ownership. So, we're gonna be headed to Jonesville, then we're going to Margaritaville in Tennessee. We're gonna meet up with some YouTubers and other friends there. My little bird houses. Birds, are, the little bluebirds are starting to come in. They always enjoy those condos for bluebirds. But that's where we're getting ready to go. Just wanted to give you a peek of that. Tell you what we're gonna do in this video. Already got Journey and Destiny hooked up for another trip, another adventure. Why don't you guys come along with us? Good morning, good morning. Um, Dwayne has already talked to you while he was outside. And now I'm sitting in my empty kitchen. I am, um, I don't know, just kind of reflecting. This house has been where we've spent 28 years uh, it has served our family so well. Uh, our friends have enjoyed it. Um, we've hosted many, many gatherings here. And just, it has just been a good house. And my prayer is that whoever this house is meant for on the second half, that they enjoy it as much as we did, that they find uh, peace, and comfort and love in this house like we did and that they make it a home. I, I told our realtor yesterday that even with the house being empty, it still feels homey because that's what we've done. We've come here and we've made it a home. We've provided, it has provided shelter for us and protection for us. And my prayer is that the next people, the next family that comes here will find the same blessing in this home that we have and that they will enjoy it and love it and love the community and their neighbors. And, uh, but for us, whew, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I told Dwayne last night, I'm excited about the opportunities that we'll have. I'm excited that we can spend uh, more time with family. And I'm excited that we don't have to do yard work and cut grass. And I don't have all this space to keep clean. I've been walking around here this morning still picking up dust bunnies off the floor. I'm not gonna be doing all of that in a camper. So, we just thank you for um, sharing this experience with us. And yeah, continue to follow. There's more to come.
southern on me. Fried chicken. What's the deal with our, our food that they want so bad? Pimento cheese. Potato soup. And the salad's gone. Mm. The shrimp and grits? That's a big bowl. And Michelle had all appetizers. <laughs> Alright, it's recording. You didn't say nothing about it. Oh, you said what? I didn't. Know. And it's called the fan fly trap. Guys, have y'all ever seen one of these? We probably don't have people to have. This thing has kept the flies off of our table and out of our area. It's called a fan. fan. Fly fan. We're going to order some from Amazon. So y'all going to need to go to the Amazon store and you can find them. You can use them indoors or outdoors. Our Amazon store. Yeah, our Amazon store. Yeah. Can you say that again? On our Amazon store. Yes. Our Amazon Oops. store. And they look like they're rechargeable too. So the things you find when you travel. Just uh, ate at what was the name of it again? Oh my God, Southern oh. uh, Southern Own Maine. Southern Own Maine. Yeah, in Elkin. It was it was really good. And the little the most exciting thing though was the fly fan. So <laughs> that was that coming, was coming soon to, to you, yeah. all about the banks Amazon store. It was interesting. It worked, y'all. We witnessed it. It worked. So we're gonna go back to the campground and go to sleep. <laughs> Can you imagine that river coming up high enough to overflow the bank? Wow. Good morning. Hi, guys. We're out on our morning walk and just enjoying uh, nature and chatting about stuff. That's all. We're in Elkin, North Carolina, and this is the Yadkin River, and uh, it is just flowing this morning. After all the rain we had. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain. And you see some trees down in the water. So this is a part of the the other part of the trail. I think in some of our other videos here at Riverwalk, you've probably seen us on the trail either with the bikes or walking. This trail runs along the Yakin River. And let me turn this around. And it's the Discover Jonesville. Part of the Yadkin Valley. This is the trailhead and the different places that it goes. So Riverwalk is uh, right on the Yadkin River. It's one of our favorite spots in North Carolina. I think we did a video called It Feels Like Home. So go back and check that out. Uh, Marcia and Jim are the owners and they do an excellent job at making you feel like you're at home. Yeah. Uh, nice small campground, about 50 some sites. 51, I think. 51 sites. Uh, but we're just out taking a walk this morning before the rain comes and uh, just going to enjoy being out. Yeah. And, and I, I want you to check this out. I have on my new All About the Banks hat. So I want you to go to our site, to our merchandise. We'll put a link below. And get you one. And get you one. You get uh, several things. All kinds of t-shirts, hoodies, cups, koozies, stickers. 
Yeah, you name it. It's up there. It's up there. Okay, you just saw us enjoying the trail at Riverwalk RV Park. But I also wanted to share with you how much we have enjoyed our signature hybrid mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Now, we have been sleeping on this mattress for about six months now, and we love it. It is so comfortable. It fits into our bedroom area perfectly, and we have found that we have gotten the most restful sleep. You know how some some RV mattresses are not quite as comfortable. This mattress has proven to be one of the most comfortable RV mattresses that we have slept on. Another thing that we have really liked about this company is that they offer a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. Another thing about the RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding is they offer top of the line quality. Uh, you can get different sizes, different dimensions, different firmness, heights, everything that you need for your particular uh, sleep needs, you can find in a Brooklyn Bedding mattress. So if you're interested in purchasing a RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for your lifestyle needs, go to rvmattress.com slash banks to receive a 20% discount. Don't forget now, rvmattress.com slash banks for your 20% discount. We also want to thank rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Now with that, if you too are interested in getting your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, go to rvmattress.com slash banks and get your 20% discount. Again, that's rvmattress.com slash banks for a 20% discount. And enjoy your restful sleep. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is Belinda from All About the Banks. And this morning, we are on our way to Charlotte. We are camping at Riverwalk in Jonesville, North Carolina, one of our favorite spots. So if you've never been to Riverwalk and you're in the North Carolina, South Carolina area, you need to try Riverwalk in Jonesville, North Carolina. That was my plug for the morning. But we are on our way to Charlotte. Um, some of you may have heard me talk about it before, but our son, we only have two children, we have no grandkids. Our son has recently been diagnosed with uh, ulcerative colitis. And it has really kind of taken a hold of him. And uh, I mean, it, my mama's heart and this daddy's heart has really been concerned about him. So we try to check on him as much as possible. So that's our question for today. You know, we have our, we put our house on the market and we are going full time, which we are very excited about. But how do you handle situations, you who are full timers, how do you handle situations when you're family or children um, are sick and you feel like you need to be there to help in some way how do you handle that uh, do you find a campground close by do you fly into their area to spend time with them you know give us some some pointers because this part is going to be new to us before um, luckily 
the the campground that we're staying in Riverwalk is only about an hour hour and a half away from Charlotte so that makes this commute very good I'm gonna go stay a couple of days and Dwayne will come back and pick me up so what is a suggestion from you guys as to in the future if we need to um, go and, and spend time with family because of medical issues or something like that. How do you handle that? Woo! Road kind of bumpy. They're doing some construction out here, so it's kind of nasty. Okay, I had told Dwayne earlier that I almost feel guilty about continuing our travels because we we are here at, at um, we had planned probably a year in advance that this month, the month of April, we were gonna be gone the whole month. So um, we leave here on Sunday and we head toward Tennessee. We'll be in Tennessee for two and a half weeks and then we start coming back to North Carolina. And I had told him with my son being so sick that I almost feel guilty that I am leaving him. Now, mind you, he is not a child. He's 34 years old. But all you mamas out there know, I don't care if they're three years old or 50 years old, they're still your babies. And as a mom, you feel like that you need to, to be there. So I was saying that I felt kind of guilty um, because I was leaving him. But I have to understand too that um, his illness, thank God, is not life threatening. It's just debilitating for him right now. But I know that uh, with the proper medication and with time, he's going to be okay and he'll be back to his normal day to day activities. So, I mean, have any of you ever gone through that? any of you mamas or even daddies I mean because we both are dealing with this with him so but have you all gone through that leave 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 your your comments or your um, ideas or your expressions in the comment section and just let us know how you would handle a situation like this with your child or with a parent uh, because you know coming up this year in August, Dwayne's mom will be 100 years old, which is amazing. She is a phenomenal woman and, I mean, still active and still able to get around on her own. But, you know, situ things happen so quickly now. So let us know when you're out traveling and something like this happens, how you handle it, which is going to better equip us when we are in situations like that.